I had uh, Phil Rapone from 44 Financial sort of set it up for me. He did a wonderful job, uh, sort of marriage the whole thing between uh, Seedco and First Choice Bank. Um, but it went very smoothly, um, all things considered. Well, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for Seedco and the uh, the SBA loan that I had to, uh, to get. Um, it was, I mean, no bank lent me the, the money that, uh, you know, on its own to, uh, that I needed to open up this business. So, uh, you know, words don't describe <laughs> how important that, uh, that Seedco and, and, and uh, was for, for uh, how instrumental it was for setting business. My success in both get, you know, getting this loan and, and the business itself was uh, first and foremost the uh, business plan uh, that, uh, that I drew up. Uh, I spent months putting that together. Uh, and I know for a fact, you know, talking to uh, the folks at Seco at First, you know, first Choice Bank um, and Phil Rapone and that, that the, uh, the business loan had probably the, uh, the biggest impact on their decision to, uh, to grant me the loan. one of the highest rated hostels in the nation. There are you know, approximately 350 um, hostels, give or take, uh, in America, and we're ranked number two. Uh, so we get a lot of excellent feedback from our guests, and uh, you know, that's something that, that I enjoy. I enjoy it. It's pretty unique. Uh, I get to uh, support the local culture and deal with uh, the social side of people coming in from all around the world. Um, we keep a lot of the, we send our guests out to all around keep a lot of uh, the other businesses locally and, you know, give, a, give them support. And also we get to educate the people about Philadelphia in hopes that they'll come back again. Well, I've been in the industry for, uh, or I had been in the industry for, you know, approximately 10 years. Um, and I think it's just nice to be able to do everything you want to do, you know, without somebody looking over your shoulder or criticizing or, <laughs> or whatever. But it's, it's definitely nice to be, to be your own boss and, uh, you know, and really mold something truly into the, uh, into the image that you sort of have in your mind kind of thing. So it's, uh, it's fun being a little more, being able to be a little more creative, um, have a little more freedom. Um, and, um, it's just, yeah, it's just been a wonderful experience so far. Right now we have roughly nine employees, approximately, if I remember correctly, about nine. And we've um, probably increased the, the total uh, payroll compared to the, the old hostel by about eightfold. I did not work at a hostel, but in high school, I worked at an RV park. <laughs> and the job was very similar. You know, it, up until I started here, that was the best job that I'd ever had. And then this took over. Apparently, I enjoy hospitality, but. Uh, well, a huge impact. I mean, hostels in general normally do um, because we have all our guests are uh, from are not locals, are uh, from out of state. 80% uh, are from out of the country. 
uh, mostly from Europe, uh, Asia, Australia. Uh, so they're coming here, uh, and we want to. Our goal is to um, to have them fall in love with Philly, to really discover the city. Uh, in my case, I mean, sometimes it may be the uh, the only hope you have of uh, of starting a business, of getting a loan. Uh, as I said, I would not have been able to open this, uh, to purchase this building, and start this business um, without the help of Seco. Would have been impossible dead in the water so uh, so for a person such as myself who um, you know who are need every single dime and penny they have to start something you might want to try with Seedco and see what uh, what they can do for you <music>